Hi guys and welcome back to another quick video about this soldering station which I built uh, on a previous video because on the previous video I couldn't manage to um, calibrate it and uh, run through his menu and uh, I uh, scratched my head around a bit with the menu of this uh, soldering station and I want to share with you guys how to calibrate it if some of you wants to build one at least they're gonna know how to calibrate it so without further ado let's jump into this video So here we go, let's first uh, measure the, the tip of this one with the, off, uh, with the soldering station off. So if I touch over here, and if I look, it's telling me 27 degrees, right? So it's not changing nothing, it's like the room temperature. Okay, so let's turn it on now. And now you can see in slipping mode this stays uh, straight away because the, the soldering iron is on the stand. So as I say, as soon as we're going to remove, it will going to turn on. And uh, as a uh, power on, it will going to power on with 50 degrees. So then we need to increase. Uh, let's see, I'm going to increase to 180 degrees. And now we can measure the tip with this uh, tip measurement temperature so you can see now it's almost calibrated perfectly so let's let it down until 180 degrees at what i what we set over there on uh, on temperature so i can see 180 degrees there 180 degrees over here and as soon as getting under the 180 degrees it start boosting up and then uh, again as soon as cooling down is getting lower than 180 degrees it will gonna turn on again so let's have a look that one again so we are about there so we're gonna boost the temperature higher until it's getting a bit stabilized the temperature because i'm gonna show you in the menu what you need to do so i can see now it's standing there in 180 degree without boosting too much the power so i can see here 179 already turned on the bar graph is run and it's boosting up only up to 187 degrees and then it's going down to 179 and again it's boosting up to 187 degrees and I'm gonna show you where you can calibrate more, but this is the maximum what I could do to keep to make sure that the, the tip is uh, not less than 180 degree. Because if you can see, when it's getting lower than 180, like 177, now it's turning on and to boost it up. So I believe this is the right way to calibrate. If, because if you go few grades bef above. Uh, 180 degrees you should be all right so now if i put it back down you're gonna see that straight away go in slipping mode so let me go with you through menu to show you from where to calibrate and how to calibrate and how to set up also this one because on the previous video video if you go to watch it over there you're gonna see that was not going in slipping mode as soon that i was putting the tip on this one so it was not setting up properly so let me now show you on the menu how to set up everything correctly okay so let's run through the menu to show you the things so just a long press and it will gonna bring you to the menu and you have temperature times presets system tip temperature and other so if you want to calibrate the, the temperature to match the tip with the, what is shown on display you go to other you press one and you go to room temperature and from here you need to adjust this number until you calibrate it so you must to have something to read the tip uh, a thermometer or something to read the tip temperature in order to adjust this number because by your head i don't know if you're gonna work because only like that i managed to find out so i can say now i have the 58 and it's running like calibrated uh, how should be so i'm gonna lower here with the let's see 30 units low so this mean 30 units low it will gonna be 28 right so if i go to 28 and i press once so to memorize the the settings that you set up and then a long press you're gonna go again a long press and you go out from the, the from this uh, menu and then once we remove this one we should be 
set up same I don't change it so it's set up same in 180 degrees so you're gonna see now that it's not calibrated will not not measure the same temperature over there so it's gonna show you more high or low let's see what what is show me now so as you can see on the display it show me 180 degrees but the tip measure above 200 degrees so this mean it shows that we are two, 20 units more on the tip than what the display show us, right? So it's almost 20 units more. So now that's why we need to increase that number to with 20 units in order to lower down the, the 20 units between uh, the temperature on the tip and uh, what the soldering station says. So let's go back to the same place, order, and we go to room temperature and now we're going to increase back to 20 units, so 30 units, so we go back to 58. So 58, we need to go back to 58. So 58 is now, if you can see there, press a short uh, click and then a long one and again a long one. And we're going to go out from this menu. And now we are seeing in 180 degrees setup over there and let's see what is measuring the actually the tip. So I can see now because we increase that units we are almost in the same reading the the temperature that shows on the station with the temperature that this read on the tip. So you can see 180, 184, 182, 179, 174 and already start to boost the temperature up so you can see at 179 178 again is boosting to bring it back to 180 so you can see here 184 183 179 178 again is boosting up to keep it at least on that temperature see now it's boosted boosted up to 200 and it's go 200 also show me here so now it's calibrated perfectly now let me show you what you what you need to do that in order that as soon you you put the handle on the stand we're gonna go straight away in sleeping mode so to set up this function that as soon you remove and you put it back and goes in sleeping mode you need to do first a long press on the encoder and you go first to to times over there so you go on times and you go to sleep time so when you press once it will gonna bring you the numbers so this mean is the time is counting like one unit is one minute how many minutes you want after you put, put the soldering iron on the stand to start counting backwards and then to go in this uh, on uh, sleep mode so you need to set up to zero like how i set up here on zero as soon you start set up see because you change the number you press one short click and it's already there. Then you have the standby. So you press one and it will gonna bring me 10 and you can set up the minutes that the period of sleep time it will gonna go then. So let's see you set up 10 minutes and you set up the 10 minutes and then as this mean as soon you put the iron on the stand it will gonna start count 10 minutes and then it will gonna go in uh, standby mode and standby mode mean like the switching of the display is like turning off the soldering station but it will not be switched off the power supply because the power supply we are switching off from here manually then you go the sleep mode on sleep mode you have manual so you can put it manual on sleep mode or you can go automatically as soon you touch the stand over there so you set up in auto and you press once and it will gonna be memorized over there then you press a long press and it will gonna go out from that menu and then you go to the temperatures so you press once and it says here set temperature the set temperature is mean how many units you want to increase as soon you you turn in the knob from 10 to 10 or from 20 to 20 so i set up to 10 degrees that is more okay for me so you press once and it's memorized there sleep temperature here is which temperature do you like to stay that the tip on the soldering iron while it's in the sleep mode so you press once and you set up on 50 degrees you can set up 100 whatever you like this temperature for me i set up 50 degrees as soon as you set up the number that you like a short click it to memorize 
then you go to boot temperature. So the boot temperatures mean as soon you turn it on the st uh, station. In which temperature do you like to bring the tip on? So I can see here pressing once. I set up on 50. You can set up also in the maximum temperature that you want, like 180 degree or 200 degree. But bear, bear in mind, if the soldering is not uh, on the stand and if it's in your hand or on the table, you might burn something. So I set up on 50, same like the slip temperature over there. And you press once and it will gonna memorize the number. Then maximum temperature is up to maximum temperature that you like to reach with the soldering iron. So for for myself, I set up 480. I really don't need any temperature above that one. So you set up the numbers that you like. You can go up to maximum 550. But for me, I find 480 perfect. So you press once to memorize the number. And you press a long press. You go out from this menu. And then you go to presets. So presets mean the soldering station have like you press once and it will gonna go to preset one. And then you turn the knob, go preset 2, preset 3, preset 4. And it's the temperature that you like to preset it like, like that. You don't need to turn on the knob to find out that temperature. You just, on one click, you are already in that temperature. So preset temperatures mean that you click once. And it's telling you how many preset uh, modes you want to do. You can do maximum four. So see, here is one, two, three, and four. Four modes. So for me, it's alright only two modes because I don't need too many temperatures. So you press OK how many temperature preset that you want to, to set. And you go preset 1. So the preset 1, how many degrees do you like to have the tip? So I set up oh, for me on 200. You can set up more. But for me, I set up on 200. You press a short click. It will going to be there memorized. The preset 2, I preset on 300 degrees and you... I'm gonna set up on 280 degrees, let's see. And I press a short, it will gonna memorize to 280 degrees. Preset 3, same. I'm gonna set up on 330 degrees, and you can see you can modify 330 degrees. You press 1, and preset 4, I'm gonna set up in 380 degrees. So press once and it memorized. A long press, it will gonna go out also from this menu. Then you go to the PID here is, I believe, because I'm not yet, I need still to do a research on PID, what's mean, because you have three types here, PIDP, PIDI, and PIDD. So if you press once, you're going to bring me some units, like 20. And I believe this is the, the scale, go from 20 degrees, 20 degrees, 20 degrees, increasing the temperature on the tip while it's turning on the, to make it hot. So yeah, you can play the numbers with the units how you like. I leave it on 20, like that is was from the factory. All of them are in 20, so I leave it them like that. But I say, you can play with that number, see which number is more comfortable to you. And more than that, there is no other things that you need to set up on this uh, soldering station. So a long press, it will gonna go back to the normal menu. And I think I have a problem over here, if you can see. Is not reading, so I think I don't memorize good the sleeping time. So I'm going. I'm gonna go back to the times. Click one, and if you see sleep time, I go on. See, it's in the number one. So I need to bring it in number zero. Press it and go out. Go out from here, and you can see now is the sleeping mode. So make sure there you will not memorize a different number because otherwise it will not work that that things. So now if I turn it, if I take it out, you can see it's turning on and it's still set it up to 180 degrees. And if I go again and check on the, on the iron tip, you're going to see that the temperature is correct. So you can see it show me 200 there. I'm almost there. Let me keep it better. So I'm not touching properly the sensor. Let me make sure. No, no, I'm touching the sensor. Okay, so... Let's have a look what's going on because it's set up in 180 degrees. So as soon as go under, uh, look, see now it starts increasing. So it should uh, increasing also my tip. So yeah, it starts increasing also the tip. And we're gonna see it. We're gonna bring it up to 200 degrees. So you can see, bring it up to 200 degrees, 215. So yeah, it will gonna go in stabilized mode as soon as uh, it's going, it's doing two pushes of the power on. 
so you can see now we are almost there so 210 197 so we're gonna stabilize because then when I, if you remember that I showed you to go in the menu stabilized that is like uh, how fast it will gonna stabilize the temperature on the tip to see to be exactly with what shows on the display so you can see there is like few degrees the only difference between them now so 180 and 164 over here so it will gonna stabilize the uh, soon so you can see now again it boosted to 200 to try to find the exact calibration so yeah that's mean the stabilizer it will gonna sh take a bit of time to stabilize perfectly and to be calibrated perfectly i hope this video uh, it was uh, informative to those who try to build this soldering station how to set up and how to calibrate and if you enjoyed this video please give me a like don't forget to subscribe and activate notification bell because I have uh, lots of other projects that it will gonna coming soon. And until the next video, guys, have a good day and bye bye.